Ripple XRP, JP Morgan, BlackRock, all of these big institutional companies are going to be exposed in this video. I have some big news regarding this and it's all because going to show you at how they are basically plotting against us and retail traders and they don't want us to make money. We will also be talking about David Schwartz's cryptic tweet and what he has basically said for Ripple XRP holders as well as a new feature for Uphold that they have recently announced and of course we will be having a look at the price action for XRP coin. So all I ask from you are two things which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well. So this is the first piece of news that I have and it's quite funny right. As we know Jamie Dimon who is the CEO of JP Morgan he basically said that Bitcoin is a fraud and that was a few years back however most recently he said that if he were in government or if he were government he would shut cryptocurrency down which is just stupid right and his argument for that was to do with the fact that a lot of criminals use cryptocurrency for their trade again you could argue that with cash and does that mean that we then have to end cash altogether I think not so let's have a look to see how hypocritical they just are and then we'll be looking at some more information into who JP Morgan actually invested in in tech this is how the rich get richer yes they know they're connected a lot of times they're coordinating yes uh, without the insider trading this right. is not illegal to do no, the uh, manipulating the news cycle, if yes. you're smart about it, is, is right. they can get away with it. Nobody's ever been arrested for anything so like this. So now, with crypto, yes, I know personally, I know people that would have gotten in or stayed in right. if these people weren't saying what they're saying. Right, and so this, this has really been extremely egregious. So on September 12th, Jamie Dimon says Bitcoin is a fraud. He says he'll fire any one of his traders buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin drops 24%. When Jamie Dimon speaks, people listen, people listen. So that weekend, we found out that the largest buyer of a, of a Bitcoin fund that's in Europe, that buys physical Bitcoin, right? The largest buyer was Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan. And that's not illegal. He says it's a fraud. It says he fire anyone I'll that buys fire. it. Yes. And at the same time, his company is buying it. His company is buying it. So ir it's just, I mean, so unethical. Right. At this rate, guys, you can't even make it up. They are literally being exposed with what they are saying in the public as well. They can't even keep it a secret, right? They are saying it right in front of your face, yet people still think it's a conspiracy theory. People don't understand that they are manipulating the whole crypto space and the fact that the institutions are working together as well. And just to show you how even more hypocritical they are, you can see over here, that JB Dimmer when he said that crypto should be shut down but he then invested in consensus just four months after the SEC sued Brad Garling House, Chris Larson and Ripple and JP Morgan is also invested in iCapital Network which is a fintech platform for alternative investments and investors so this is JP Morgan's portfolio and one of their investments is iCapital Network and you have consensus which I believe is a blockchain platform and so guys this is exactly the reason as to why I won't listen to any of this nonsense or these people in general I know what the high ups want to do and they don't want to see us getting rich again with Jim Cramer and like with the stock market and things like that whatever he says you always do the opposite same like with these institutions whatever they say about cryptocurrency always do the opposite because they never have your best interest at heart and why would they right the whole aim of the game is to manipulate the news and what you see they're not there to be your friend and give all of this financial advice they are the ones that want to get richer and so this is how I personally think that they they are fooling you and scamming you especially if all of this news is causing you to sell your cryptocurrency and if you are in fear right because that is basically what they're doing they're driving up the fear so you can sell your portfolio and then they can buy more so we have the golden cross confirmed for xrp it says over here that in 2017 when xrp sold 60,000 percent in 12 months from 0.006 to $3.84 that was directly after this golden cross confirmation on the four day now if we have a look at this poll we can see over here some opinions of people saying what your 2024 peak price target for xrp is 16.7 percent has said it will be under two dollars 15.6 percent said between two dollars one cent to five dollars 20.3 percent said five dollars one cent to eight dollars and 47.4 percent says above eight dollars and one cent that is just under half of of the amount of people that are saying that XRP coin could be above that level in 2024. For my personal prediction, 
I think that XRP coin could be able to reach around about $1.10, $1.20 in 2024. It may be a slow ride considering the fact that we have that settlement and we may not be able to see that much of a gain, but it will be interesting to see where we do hit. Do put down in the comments below where you think XRP coin can hit in 2024. So if we have a look at David Schwartz cryptic tweet, it says over here that the XRP community believes David Schwartz is saying do not sell your XRP. So where does this come from? Well, he did share this saying that as many of you know, I sold 40,000 Ethereum at about $1 to put solar panels on a house I no longer own. That Ethereum was worth over $100 million shortly after. Guys, if this happened to me, I don't even know if I would be able to live or not. I'd be in so much regret at how much money I could have potentially made. And I definitely don't want that amount of regret at all. And again, this is what it is with the cryptocurrency market, right? What other market can you get this amount of returns in such a short amount of time? Even if it is only a couple of years, it really is still a good ROI and a really good investment. And so a lot of people in the XRP community basically said that this could be hinted to us to not sell our XRP coin just yet. And we know that the price is stagnant and there hasn't been that much of a move up. Again, someone said that David has turned the XRP army to keep the faith. It may be under a dollar now, but if you wait that little bit longer, you'll see it go to the moon. I do think that we are still in a good position right now because things still have not taken off. We still haven't had that Bitcoin spot ETS coming out or the Bitcoin halving or these settlements. So why would you want to even sell before all of that? Now, before we look at the price action for today, let's just have a look at this article. It says that Uphold enters XRP custody scene. And if we have a look over here, it's the Uphold uphold vault. So the uphold vault is basically built to keep your assets secure and protect against private key loss and you actually get two keys that you can use and if you lose one of those keys you do get a spare one again. So that's really good from uphold to do with the custody and making sure that everything is secure. Another W for uphold. Let's have a look at the price action and guys we are at 68 cents. We are very close to 69 cents. We're actually at 0.6888 but if we have a look over here the 24 hours we are up by 6% seven days we are up by 12 percent but have you guys noticed something we have actually now flipped bnb in market cap we are fourth place bnb's fifth place market cap for bnb is at 36.7 billion dollars xrp's market cap is at 37.2 billion dollars in order for xrp coin to remain at that fourth place it basically has to be above that 66 cents really 67 cents and above so that it can be in front of bnb now will it actually stay at that price point that's another thing why we may see a retracement for XRP coin because we have had this massive surge in real time it's just now gone to 69 cents but if we do have a look at the seven day chart I believe that for XRP coin our support level was roughly at 61 cents when the price was pretty much stagnant but in the past couple of days we have seen it rise to 64 cents again we are just looking for a support level now if anything I don't mind seeing XRP coin come back to 65 cents but we really need to see it hold guys if you want daily XRP XRP coin news, subscribe to the channel and like the video as well.